Organic Synthesis Techniques for Drug Development Organic Synthesis Techniques for Drug Development In the field of medicine, the development of new drugs plays a vital role in promoting the overall well-being of society. Drug discovery and development involve a multitude of steps and techniques, and organic synthesis techniques play a significant role in the process. Organic synthesis is the process of constructing complex molecules using simple chemical compounds. This technique is a crucial tool for producing new drugs for the treatment of various diseases. In this article, we will explore some of the organic synthesis techniques used in drug development. One of the key organic synthesis techniques in drug development is the use of solid phase synthesis. This technique involves the use of solid supports, typically composed of polystyrene, to which small molecule building blocks are bound. The reaction takes place on the solid phase, allowing for easy purification and isolation of the reaction product. This technique is particularly useful for the development of peptide-based drugs, where the polypeptide chains are synthesized in a stepwise fashion. Another important organic synthesis technique used in drug development is combinatorial chemistry. Combinatorial chemistry involves the rapid synthesis of large numbers of compounds for evaluation. This technique is especially useful for the discovery of lead compounds, which can then be further optimized for pharmacological activity and reduce toxicity. Traditional methods of drug discovery often require a long time for the synthesis of individual compounds, which can be time-consuming and expensive. However, combinatorial chemistry allows for the rapid synthesis of thousands of compounds in a single experiment. The use of protecting groups is another important technique in organic synthesis for drug development. Protecting groups are used to temporarily block a functional group on a molecule to prevent it from reacting during a specific step in the synthesis process. This technique allows for the selective formation of certain bonds and functional groups during the overall synthesis process. Protecting groups also increase the overall yield of the reaction product and reduce side reactions, which can lead to the formation of unwanted molecules. Chiral synthesis is another important technique used in drug development. Chiral molecules are molecules that are non-superimposable mirror images of each other. Many drugs contain chiral centers, and the biologic activity of the molecule can differ depending on the stereochemistry of the chiral center. Therefore, it is essential to synthesize chiral molecules in a manner that produces a single enantiomer. Chiral synthesis techniques include a variety of methods such as asymmetric synthesis and resolution of racemic mixtures. Asymmetric synthesis involves the selective formation of a single enantiomer of a chiral molecule. This technique involves the use of chiral reagents, catalysts, or auxiliaries to control the stereochemistry of the reaction. One of the most commonly used chiral auxiliaries in organic synthesis is chiral pool synthesis. This technique involves the use of chiral starting materials, such as amino acids or sugars, to produce chiral products. Chiral pool synthesis is often used in the development of drugs that contain chiral amino acids or sugars. Resolution of racemic mixtures is another method used in chiral synthesis. Racemic mixtures are mixtures of equal amounts of both enantiomers of a chiral molecule. This technique involves the separation of the enantiomers into their individual components. This process can be achieved using various techniques such as chromatography, crystallization, or enzymatic resolution. 
Once the enantiomers are isolated, they can be further developed and optimized for their desired biological activity. In addition to these techniques, modern organic synthesis also includes various green chemistry principles. Green chemistry is a set of principles that focus on developing chemical processes that are environmentally friendly, reducing waste and preventing pollution. Green chemistry techniques are particularly relevant in drug development due to the large quantities of chemicals involved in the synthesis of new drugs. As such, organic synthesis has significant applications in many industries and is a constantly evolving field, with new techniques and methods being developed all the time. One area of particular interest in drug development is the use of natural products as starting points for the synthesis of new drugs. Natural products are compounds produced by living organisms that have a wide range of biological activities. In many cases, natural products have served as the inspiration for the development of new drugs, such as the development of the cholesterol-lowering statins from a fungal metabolite. By using natural products as starting points, researchers can bypass some of the challenges of traditional drug development, such as identifying biologically active compounds. Natural product-based drug discovery has become an increasingly important area of research in recent years and is likely to continue to grow in importance in the future. In addition to the development of new drugs, organic synthesis techniques are also crucial for the production of existing drugs. The production of many pharmaceuticals involves the synthesis of complex organic molecules on a large scale. This requires the use of efficient and cost-effective methods that allow for the synthesis of large quantities of the desired product. One area of ongoing research in organic synthesis for drug development is in the development of new antiviral agents. The development of antiviral drugs presents unique challenges due to the complexity of viral infections and the need for drugs that are specific to the virus being targeted. One promising area of research is the development of broad-spectrum antiviral agents that are effective against multiple types of viruses. One example of a broad-spectrum antiviral agent that has been developed using organic synthesis techniques is favipiravir. Favipiravir is an antiviral agent that has been shown to be effective against a wide range of RNA viruses, including influenza and Ebola virus. The development of favipiravir involved the synthesis of a heterocyclic compound that inhibits the viral RNA polymerase, thus preventing viral replication. Organic synthesis techniques have also been used to develop drugs that target specific pathways in cancer cells. The development of targeted cancer therapies has revolutionized cancer treatment and has led to significant improvements in patient outcomes. One example of a targeted cancer therapy developed using organic synthesis techniques is imatinib. Imatinib is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor that is used to treat chronic myeloid leukemia. The development of imatinib involved the synthesis of a compound that selectively inhibits the activity of the BCR-ABL fusion protein, which is characteristic of chronic myeloid leukemia cells. In addition to the development of new drugs, Organic synthesis techniques are also used in the development of drug delivery systems. Drug delivery systems are used to improve the efficacy and safety of drugs by controlling the rate and site of drug delivery. One example of a drug delivery system developed using organic synthesis techniques is liposomes. Liposomes are vesicles composed of a lipid bilayer that can enclose both hydrophilic and hydrophobic drugs.